All right, cool. <clears throat> so what we've done is created two APIs or created, yeah, two APIs to fetch an article by its ID and fetch all of the articles, um, either fetching all of the articles or fetching the articles utilizing a filter using this little string interpolation, whether or not this filter exists. And inside of our homepage is where we're using a component did mount. And we're using the async awake, await to fetch the articles. So it's saying, hey, after this is all done, then execute this. Same thing that in our fetch article by ID, we're using the async await here. So we're, hey, declaring that this fetch article ID by ID function is in fact an async um, function. So it's saying, hey, try, try catch <clears throat> once await. So once we're gonna fetch this, once this is done executing, then go to the next await and then execute that. So if I didn't have this await here, it would literally execute this and then also execute this at the same time. So anything that has an await in front of it, it'll wait until the previous code is ran. All right, and we've done all that utilizing class-based components. So in our article page, we have an article page, which is a class-based component. And in our home page, um, we, uses, we used a class-based component as well. So now let's actually convert this article, uh, this article page into a functional based component and use a, the use effect and use state hook. So if I literally just copy this down to one level, I'm going to comment this out. It's going to throw a bunch of errors. Now I'm just going to convert this article page into a function. So I'm going to say const equals probably taken maybe some props. Functional based component. These do not utilize component did mount or the state. So I can delete that. But what it does use is the use state and what also is the use effect hook, which is takes place of this component in mount. So this use state, we can say const article, then set articles equals use state, and the initial value is null. Uh, we also don't need this render method, so we can get rid of that. I'm just gonna format the document, oh, there we go. So what does it say? We have a component in mount, this dot match the params. Cool. <clears throat> so let's look at what we actually need in this article page. So props. So let's look over here in the documentation or in the chant or in the, the lecture. So in here, we can use this use effect. Uh, what the hell? All right. <clears throat> so in here, I'm just gonna console log dot props just to see what props we have in our page. So it looks like here it says state is undefined. So look right here, we're using this dot state. We don't need that anymore. So we can get rid of that. And here we go. We have match, history, location, match. And this is all because we're passing in props into here from uh, the, I think it's from the app.js running this article page. So we actually have access to the history from our, in our article page. So in here we can say use effect and the use effect takes in a callback. So takes in a callback 
And then in here is where we want to execute our code. So the use effect hook takes in two arguments. One's a callback and then the other one we'll get to shortly. So I can say console log uh, use effect. If I look at that, use effect is executed once. And so in here, we can do a simple try, whoop, try catch in here. console.error, um, error occurred, fetching data, and then just like the error. So in here I can do some, why does it keep doing that? <clears throat> All right, so I can do console.log, um, fetch or execute uh, fetch API or API. So come here, I can say execute the API. So in here is where I can actually do the articles, articles, API dot fetch article by ID article oh I actually first need to grab that article so I can say let article ID equals props dot match dot params dot article ID so in here I can pass in the article ID and then I can do a dot then off of that article and then I can do set articles. Is it set article or set article? Yeah, set article to the article. Let's see if this works. I just wanna see if something's happening. Um, um, console.log use effect. And look what's happening right now. So if I fetches it, it looks like it's working, but look over here. I'm console logging use effect and look how many times it's executing. It's continuously executing over and over again. It's executed 1,000 to 1,400, 1,500, 1,600 times. This is where the use effect hook can get you into trouble because I'm making an API to my personal, like an API that we created, but what if this API was to a third party API, such as that news API or Ticketmaster? It's literally making a request. It's literally made almost 4,000 requests. So you can easily exceed your API limit call. And this is where the use effect um, can be, get a little dangerous, but I can also add in say like, hey, um, if, article equals null, then execute this function. And if I refreshes it, oh, it says, oh, what did it say? Fetching data article is read only. I don't even know what that means actually. Article is only, is read only. Tom, can you just, does it take in, will it fill the, oh. I saw a use effect takes a second argument at the end, it, it just an empty array. If you put that in there, will it just fill that? Yep. So right here it's executed twice, but if I didn't want this, if statement, let's, the second argument, it says, hey, check which data you want to see change and only execute the use effect when this data change. So I can say, hey, check to see if the article value changes and if it does, then execute the use effect. So that's still, well, let's see. So it's still executing a, a, a bunch of times, but if I only did it, let's see if that works. 
So it only executes once there. But there's, it's always good to have um, logic in there. to only check or only execute the API if the article is null. So there it's checked, it's executed twice because it's saying, hey, the first time it executes and then I update the article. So the article object or the article variable is changes, it changed, so it executed it again. Let's go back, refresh, there we go. So if you only want something that occur once, you can use an empty array, but always include something, because if you don't, wait, let's see if, because if you don't, this is gonna happen usually, or if you don't have any logic in here, it's just gonna continue to execute over and over again. There's also this way you can do it. You can declare a function inside of the use effect and then execute it once. Just kind of, this is exactly kind of what I'm doing here. I'm testing to see if it's null and then I'm executing that fetch async function. But here they just declare a separate function to execute specifically the async. Where am I? There we go. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> so just experiment with the use effect. Let's do that with the home page. Do the same thing. Convert this into a functional based component. Const, whoa. Const homepage equals that. Get rid of the state here. I, I'm gonna keep this part, but instead of using component did mount, I'll use the use effect. I can get rid of the render. And I can just import the use state, use state, and use effect hook. And it's a const articles set articles use state hook, set that value to null. And then in place of the component in mount, I can say just use effect. Then I want to make sure, test to see anytime the articles may change, I want to update the component. So I can say try catch error console dot error error fetching data. I'm pretty sure it this mock fetch thing. And inside of here, <clears throat> let's say if, you know, articles equals null, try fetching the data. Uh, let's see if this works. I've never tried the async await inside of the homepage. See, I don't know if I can async. I'm not sure if that's allowed, but we can try it. Uh, and then instead of set state, we can say set articles to articles. Let's see if this works. Not sure if this is gonna work. Let's go back to home. Nope, let's see, cannot read property state of undefined. 
uh, that should be an easy fix. So this.state.articles, see if this works. All right, can I property state homepage? Oh, articles, and then probably props as well. <clears throat> Get rid of this history. All right, here we go. It says, which is a cleanup. I'm just gonna get rid of this handle click right now just to make sure to see if this works. Hold on. Use a function but not return anything besides a function which is set used for cleanup. Async to return a promise. Instead, write the async function inside your, okay? So that's where um, you can't use like the async portion of it, that's why you want to write a function to execute this. So I can say like async um, uh, fetch articles or fetch all articles. Cons, fetch all articles, async. See if this is working. <clears throat> and then execute the fetch all articles. All right, what use effect must. Is it returning anything? I haven't seen that error before. Let's see what it says. An effect function, let's Google that. Oh, am I still using the async? Sorry. There we go. Oh, what happened? Oh, props handle clicks, because I got rid of that. So let's see. On 938, you have to take out async from when you initially call the function. On line 38. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I think you out. did take it out. <clears throat> yeah, so the error now is because I'm not, the handle title click isn't being passed in uh, to here like it was originally. Because before it was, um, it's actually, I don't want to go too far back. It was like this dot props dot history, something like that. Right. So it said like handle, title, click equals, I think that's what it was. <clears throat> and you push in, but since we're now we're in a functional based component, we don't have See if we do we have props, we have props. All right. Article ID is not defined. Articles. <coughs> so yeah, like article ID. So let's see something. So handle title click, that's that props dot handle. So article ID is not defined. Is that really what was there before? I can't remember. <clears throat> handle title click, this dot props. Article list. I mean, I can go all the way back. Well, let's see this. 
I'm going to copy this and go all the way back just to see what was in fact in that. Okay. So in here, is everything working? Cool. It says, all right, cannot read proper props of undefined. So again, this is a, a functional based component, so I can get rid of that. Refresh. There we go. We have everything seems to be working now. <clears throat> so I can get rid of all this. So in here in my use effect, I'm doing a cry, try catch. And then inside of my try, I'm declaring a new function called fetch all articles, which is an async function that <clears throat> actually fetches the articles and then sets all the articles to the st current state. Questions so far? All right. So it looks like we did finish the use effect. So now we can refactor some data <clears throat> after you, in fact, refactor, blah, blah, blah. So the app.nav component and section data. At the moment, your data determine what appears is within our data directory. The product managers have decided to slim down the new section that we present on the site. Uh, your tech lead has decided to use a sections. <clears throat> so in here, we can import the sections into our app.nav. So get rid of the home page, the article page, and open up the app.nav. So here's my functional base component. <coughs> and in here, instead of, I can import sections. So import sections from up one, so I have to go up two, up two, config sections. And there we have our sections. And instead of nav items, I can do sections.map. Let's see if that is still making everything work. So cool, now I only have opinion, world, national, and everything is still working. <coughs> Question so far about, so I can get rid of that. And then inside of our app.nav, so which is in our app.js, where I'm passing in here, the app nav items. I can get rid of that, which I'm get, I can get rid of the state. I can get rid of this constructor, I believe. I can get rid of this nav items. See if everything's still working, refreshing. Everything's still working. Cool. All right, and then now it says the nav items is no longer needed. You only, and that's the only piece of state. So that said, we can get rid of the instructor entirely. Then the article teaser link at the moment, we're passing down a callback from the home page. So from the home page, this is the home page. We're passing a callback, this handle title click, and it's pushing us. So that's going to the article list. So if I open up the article list, I get rid of all that. We have the this.props.handle title click right here, which is being passed into the article teaser. So if I can open up the article teaser, we have this dot or the props.handle title click here on this on click. But it says, this logic is way overly compli complicated. We can just use React Router's link component. So we can say, hey, import link from React Router. I think it's React Router. And if we look at, is it React Router DOM? This is how it works. We can literally just create a link to whatever we want. 
So this is an article teaser. So in the article teaser, we can get rid of this tag. Instead of there, we can link to the props dot title. And instead of the two, we can go to the articles slash props dot ID. See if uh, oh, it says fail to compile. Import link. Oh, it's React Router DOM. Let's refresh that. There we go. And that is everything that we needed so far. So the main thing, the main takeaway is creating the APIs in the API directory. Can everyone please mute if you're not muted? Thank you. <clears throat> So yeah, creating the APIs, utilizing the dot then or async await, and then the component life cycles methods, which is component did mount if you're using a class-based component, or the use effect hook if you're using a functional-based component. says handle click is assigned a value in the article teaser. So I can come over here. I can even get rid of that. And it just says component is defined, but never used. But that's only because I have a class-based component here, just in case I want to use one. All right, does anybody have any questions?